you already know it is old tea time it is a cycle to i let it off screen to like 1424 something and we're gonna use my man bt beef a team and i thought i had slash hide room on on copy but apparently i don't have i had a team on on copy but yeah so i thought we were out of the law that when we faced this type of shit this team is pretty solid blunt i used it in the video too Mm. I think I want to lead with Manton because these people usually like to lead with the Manhattan. Uh, Manton overall seems like a good lead. Okay, this is leads with Persian. So he's either gonna taunt me or go for parting shots. So I can just scold. Um, Zadwa is gonna go in on this guy. Like his check is channel cruel, but I have Dougie to trap that, and I have Banta, which puts in some work t as well. Because I think I have Fire Punch on it to hit Mijona. Mm, what else do I... Crunch, uh, Stone Edge, I mean, also does a fuck ton to Lando. Like, he doesn't have the good switch-ins at all to Zadwa and to Bantar. And thankfully he doesn't have his own Dougie to trap my Tita. Yeah, this is just pretty basic. Um, Mantan is used because... It's one of the best World Corona checks. Slash counters, it's one of the best Zadwai switch-ins if they don't have HP electric. Some people run HP electric, I've seen Flame Victine use it in World Cup. This guy's funny, he starts the timer on me and now he's just letting his timer go down. Mm, I've seen these run toxic sometimes, but I don't really want to switch here because if I switch any parting shots, I just lose momentum. Like, uh, he doesn't have, like I said, good scores. Like it not, nothing on his team appreciates the Scald other than Tender Cruel. And you know the Scald has the chance to get the burn on that. And he just fakes me out for some chip. So why did he take so long to just click fake out? That's a really good <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on in this guy's head. We get the burn which sucks for him. <clears throat> Kinda wanna switch here on a potential toxic. Fake out taunt, foul play. And parting shot, he shouldn't have toxic. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just gonna scald again. Goes to a cruel, and he should scald here or something because he did all oh, toxic spikes. He shouldn't allow me to go hard, doggy. But yeah, I'm a scar for toxic. Hmm. I think I can go hard in the cheetah or. No, no, I don't lose anything from going hard, Tapu Lele, actually. Um, if he goes into his Persian on my side shock, I don't give a fuck. He can do that. He has a Magirna actually, so I kinda wanna double. Mm. But my, my favorite one has a good amount of speed. Actually, it's fifth death. I thought it was more speed death. This is a Magirna is actually really annoying, but I'm just gonna click a side shock because I'm not that high on the ladder. I don't know how good people are. Okay, so he just makes a safe play. We get some chip on his Magirna, I assume this is going to be a salt vest or Z move, not sure. Mm. Gonna go Ferrothorn in first. And if he shows that he's... Okay, he shows that he's salt vest. That's why I didn't go Mantine, because I didn't know if he's a salt vest. Um, but yeah, if he went for shift gear there, I would have switched out into Mantine to scout. For the vaults... Uh, for the... Actually, yeah, t would have fucked me up, but I would have scouted for all out pummeling, that's what I meant to say. So now you can just click flare builds and destroy me. I'm gonna go t here. Because I don't really want to set my Zar Y. And this is gonna do a good amount, and now I can just click Pursuit and kill his dumb Manhattan. Since I'm banned, it's obviously killed. So that was probably Scar, so I took away his speed control, which puts him in a bad position. Because Landro, so you can either get up his rocks or U-turn. This could be Z-move too, but I might just go Mantan here in case he sets up his rocks because I need them gone. Um, if he Z-move, he can still kill me. Um, I might love a Sky Strike, but I definitely don't love a Continental Crush. But yeah, I don't agree with his play. That this play didn't work out for him at all. He should have U-turned if he didn't have a move to kill Mantan. But yeah, I'm not gonna complain. We take those. I assume this might have T-Bolt. I'm definitely gonna switch into my Ferrothorn here. He goes for Psychic. 
I'm gonna go um, switch back to Scarf for HP Fire here. Uh, I'm going to my man sign. The only reason I switched my Mantan out, I wasn't sure if he had. if he was spec or if he had T bolt. I just wanted to scout Psychic the 28 to my Ferrothorn. My Ferrothorn is more um, fist dev though. So he's like 40 in spit dev. Now it's up with Lily. So yeah, I think he's choice Scarf. So he goes with Juna, this didn't work out at all. He is probably just gonna Volt Switch here, but I'm still gonna go into Ferrothorn because if I go into Dougie and he predicts that, that's just a bad play on my part. And I don't have a reason to risk anything. Yeah, he makes the Flow Cam play in case I wanted to go into Dougie. And this just puts me in a good position. I don't wanna go for Leech because Tentacle has a Liquid Ooze. I can just get on my rocks here. Puts me in a good spot. He went hard lately, I, I don't really get that play. But yeah, Psychic Terrain just ended, so I can go Mantan here. I should be able to wall him unless he has T Bolt as he goes for HP Fire. This guy is really predictable. And I kinda wanna just predict his Majorna and go into my Zard here. And destroy something. So I'm gonna do that. Goes Tentacruel, okay. Okay, I should have done it to Dagi. Dagi would have covered the Tentacruel and the Majorna. I thought he would go Majorna, so I gained the Zard. Um, it's fine though. I can just go for a solo beam, get up the sun. Weaken him a bit, he's probably gonna spin here or get up his T spikes. So he does just do that and uh, yeah, I'm just completely fine with weakening his tentacle. Like I could have just doubled into Dagi there and sped up the process, but it's fine. I don't really see myself losing this. We got two layers of T-Spikes. I'm just gonna go Mantan to defog them. Yeah, he goes Magina, so now he can Volt Switch, which... Um, I think I'm gonna go to Ducky here, but I'm 100% sure that he's gonna Volt Switch here. Um, let me calculate real quick if... Um, Magina... Salt versus Duck Tree. How much does Earthquake do? Okay, it's a roll, so I have to go for my Z move. Okay, so I'm gonna go hard Dougie here. I know it's a bad play potentially, but I'm just so confident that he's gonna Volt Switch. Because earlier on I didn't go into Dougie when he Furrowcan, so he predicted my Dougie already. He's not gonna predict it again. I just know how these players work. And we're gonna Z move, we're not gonna risk a roll. Or uh, maybe he has like some more bulk. There's no reason to risk that. And I don't need Dougie for anything at this point. Tana Crew is so low already. And I think I can just sack my doggy. Goes for Moonblast, I can just default with my Mantine. I don't even have to default, honestly. I can just go Zart here and click fire Flamethrower. Yeah, yeah, that's the better play. Just blow something away with Flamethrower. Tana Crew easily dies. I'll get to it killed if it doesn't die. Okay, it doesn't die, but it gets to it killed. Yep, same thing. Yeah, this game is over. And we should be in the 1440s or something like that. He might have Psy Shock. I don't have to risk anything. I'm just gonna go hard T-Tar here. If he goes for Moonblast, that's a good play on him, but I just get a kill with Zard. He goes for T-Bolt. He predicted my Manta in there. So I'm gonna keep my T-Tar as a Death Farter and I'm just gonna go on a Ferrothorn here. And now I can go for Leech Seed Slash. I kind of want to double into Zard and get a kill here on his land though. Do I have HP Ice? I do have HP Ice. I'm going to double into my Zard here because he's not going to stay in and I'm going to click HP Ice. Just want to speed up the game a little bit. Because if I go for a Leech Seed or Power Up, it just takes a bit longer. It's unnecessary. If you surprise me with a random Scarf land though. Oh, that lives? What the fuck? Okay, he doesn't have Stone Edge. Mm, Zard lives any one hit, so I'm just gonna click this. Like I'm completely fine. I can't lose this game. I should have sacked Titera, but it doesn't. It literally doesn't matter. I can't lose this game. So GG, my man. Up to the next one, and I'm gonna just like 
Around 30 or 40 minutes, just hope we don't get fucked up. Okay, this guy's a scary team, kinda. Cause like Pokemon like Cartana and Hooper and Curum is hard to switch into, kinda. So I kinda wanna, I wanna check his rank. He is, um, okay, he doesn't have the best win loss ratio. But I should, I'll never underestimate my opponents. Mm. We don't have focus blast to cure him, can eat any hit from Zard. I think a scarf top bullet is a decent lead. As he <laughs> as he thought the same, I think he might be scarfed too. But yeah, what I can do here is just click moon blast. Don't think I'll lose much by it, and I can get a special attack drop potentially. I'm really lucky. And I'm just gonna moon blast again because like. Actually, no, I think I can go into my Zard slash... I think he might go into his Venusaur here. I kind of want to predict that and be uh, one step ahead of him. And go to my Zard here. Yeah, I think I'm going to make that play because he got the special attack drop. So it wasn't going to stay in there. And he goes Katana. This can't touch me unless it's like random HP rock. Katana would have gotten 2 hit KO'd by Moonblast. Like, I can show you guys the clock. Katana gets blown away. So I don't know why the fuck he went into Katana. That was just an awful play. That yeah, Moonblast is 71 to 84 to Katana, so good job, guy. So we can just click Flamethrower here, I don't see we switch ins, my man. He goes Kyurem, this is gonna get fucking obliterated, it's gonna take a 75. 70 maybe? I only did 50, so that makes me think that he's a bit more bulky, so I can just 2 hit KO him. Amazing, amazing. So shout out to my man BTB, his team is working, I'm just happy. I, I wanted a team that is a solid in the mid ladder that where it, or like lower ladder where I don't get fucked up by something random. And this is just really reliable on in that range on the ladder. It's also not bad higher. My man sorry said this loses to his trick room team. My man sorry qualified for a cycle. Uh, really cool. But thankfully, I, like I don't expect to face that trick room team uh, on this part of the ladder. But yeah, this hoop was a bit scary. He's gonna hyperspace if he's bandit or dark puts or t-bolts if he's uh, special. I'm just gonna go with Matita here. Like Zard just completely destroys him. I don't have any reason to let Zard take damage as he, as he move. Z snatch gives him a speed boost. So this is probably focus blast. Okay, this is scary. Do I wanna switch out on a focus blast? Hmm, fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna go Manta and here he's gonna focus blast. I'm so sure of that. He drain punched. Okay, same thing. But yeah, this might have T bolt. Um, do I need my Manta for anything? It's it's nice for defogging later on. So I wanna scout for um for a T bolt and I don't need my Ferrothorn for much, so I'm gonna go into Ferrothorn. It just goes for Psychic, so I could have stayed in, but um, I won't just go for Jarball, get a damage on this, because it's a threat, and he has Fire Punch. If he burns me, I'm gonna get mad, but he does not. And we get rid of the Hooper, I don't know if that crit mattered, but it w he would have been in range where I... And actually, yeah, I, c I couldn't really revenge him, because I don't think later... Yeah, but Manta could have taken any hit. So he's probably gonna go for Rocks or something. Um, he might have Substitute. So I think my best play is just clicking Jarball, so he doesn't get a free substitute, just in case he has that. So he just showed that he predicted Momentum. He has Rocky Helmet, okay. So I think he's gonna he potentially predict my Zard or Momentum there. He's probably just gonna um, Earthquake here. Mm, I have to Defog anyway, so there's no point in going for my Rocks, so I'm just gonna Leech Seed in case he goes for Rocks. And now... He's kind of forced to go for Earthquake, so I want to go into my Mantine. And if he predicts that, that's fine, because I can just set my Ferrothorn later on to get momentum back. So he goes for Smackdown, which is a fine play. Um, I should be able to take a hit and just Defog. We live on 1%, so I'm actually just gonna spam Defog. Actually, Roost, Roost is the play. But did he say true? Yeah, I mean, it was potentially a roll, like, but what is your problem, guy? Just the fuck up. <laughs> I'm kind of mad today because like there was one game earlier where I got hexed. Um, I'm think I think I'm 18-1, 19-1 uh, after the last one. 
But yeah, so now we can just go into uh, Zard and click flamethrower and get a kill. I just love this mon, like that way is so cool. And this is his rocker, so if you get rid of this, or oh, that way is just in business. That way can I just win this game, to be honest. Um, I'm not gonna stay in on type of Lily, though. Uh, potential Scarf Crit or Scarf t bolt Para or something. I'm just gonna go and set my Feral Thorn or set my Tita on the Lily. Probably set my Feral Thorn. Because Bandit Tita can still do very nice damage versus Venus So he does just like the Landers, and now his only play is the Scarf Lily or the um, Venus because Cartana doesn't do shit to Zard, and like Venus also doesn't do much, but like, what else is this play? <laughs> yeah, the team is gonna be in the description as per usual. If you guys didn't have the team yet, it's like pretty known. So I assume most of you might have it already. Yeah, so he has. Yeah, yeah I'm just gonna click Flame. So if you click Synthesis, that's fine. I'm just gonna go T turn on the next turn if you click Synthesis once. He has knock. Oh, he's he's not mega. Wait, why is he not mega? Oh, he just didn't mega evolve. So yeah, Zard just wraps this game up, and it's GG. I'm just gonna catch this guy because he said to. He got mad when he got a low roll. Like I don't think that made a huge difference. Even if he got rocks up, like come on, guy. Like you were just so weak to Zard. Why? Like even the Zard at forty f at fifty percent that that comes in on rocks still destroys you. So we're gonna get a one or two more games, depending on how it goes. As we go get my man, I'm so sorry, LOL, it's a Veil team. So I wanna check this guy's rank to see how good he is. Um, I don't lose anything from losing Zard in this matchup. Zard just completely pisses or completely danks this, dumps this on him, if that's even correct English. Zard destroys this man, this is just a really good feeling. So I'm just gonna lead with it. <laughs> because if he leads nine times, I can just, um, change the weather unless he goes for hail but even if he goes for hail like <laughs> like he I think he just dipped because he realized he just gets fucking destroyed by this mon um what he, what I would do if I was him is maybe go to T Tar <laughs> yeah he's back I think I would go to T Tar because I don't really see what else his options are like he might, if he knows that this doesn't have folks best, he can go T-turn and scare me out. But it's a rough matchup for him. But I won't um, say that I won yet, we still have to play. So we'll see if this guy decides to make a move or if he's just gonna time out. Okay, so he does just decide to sack his 9 shots turn 1. And he misses a penalty, which sucks. That definitely sucks, okay. But it's 60% accuracy. I mean, yeah, take we take those. And I can just go for HP Ice here. Actually, I'm just gonna Solar Beam. Because this is Figgy Berry, and I don't wanna bring him into his Figgy Berry range. Because I'm pretty sure he can live one HP Ice from full. It might be a roll. Actually, HP Ice is a roll. Let me cock. A Charizard. Because there's probably no point in going for Solar Beam uh, versus uh, Zygarde. I think it runs like 76 HP or something. I'm just gonna give it 80. And. Cult HP eyes. HP has this 83 to 99. Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna click it. So he's going to Suicune. Oh man, Solomon would have been the play. Fuck. I feel bad now. Um, but I'm just gonna. Just gonna flamethrower here. Because if he goes into Tita here and I Solar Beam, it's, it has to charge another turn and then he can kill me with a Stone Edge. And I don't want that to happen. And he also might click Protect just to stall some Sun turns. So um, I should have... Man, if I just went for Solar Beam there, it would have been a fine play. But just in case he has less bulk than the 80 that I collect, I could have potentially Oakwood him with HPIs, which is why I went for it. And I didn't really see a downside to HPI thing. So I don't really regret my play that much, but Solabeam obviously would have rocked out better there. So yeah, I don't know why you're taking so long, my guy. I can't really see him going to Tita here, or just protecting that guy's set. I don't know why. Like, what is there to think about? I didn't get some people. Um, that this is one of the reasons why I decided to use this team, because it's not that hard to use, in my opinion. 
kind of late here and I don't want to think super hard as I do predict this cheater switch. I mean, it was just a mid ground play and he forfeited because I got the burn. Um, I mean, that didn't matter because I would have just switched out into my. Mm, into my Ferrothorn or into my. Yeah, I think my Ferrothorn can live a plus one fire punch because it's a really fifth death. Actually, maybe not, but it doesn't really matter because. Actually, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Tita is actually a threat to this team, but my, I think my own Tita could have taken any one hit. That bond definitely sucks, so I'm not gonna say it didn't matter. But I don't wanna waste too much time on like speculating if it mattered or if it didn't matter. Because I just wanna get my account up a bit. As we do get an opposing Zard. And Dougie. Just gonna be annoying to face. Uh, this guy's really bad uh, win loss ratio. <laughs> so I do think Scarf Tapalier is a good lead versus him on this lead Jirachi, obviously. He shouldn't leave with Jirachi, in my opinion. Zapdos is a bit annoying for this team. He leads with the tap uh, with the Zygarde. So I really want to double predicting his Jirachi turn 1. Uh, just go into Zard and destroy something. If he stays in, it puts me, maybe in a yeah, it puts me in a bad position if he stays in, but he shouldn't stay in. So I'm gonna double into the Zard. Is he meant to just double it? What? The play made no sense. Uh, I'm just gonna. F let me think. Let me think. Like there's no move that can oko me. Yeah, I don't really see a point in not flame throwing here. He's psychic, that has a fuck ton. And my Ferrothorn is really obvious here. On oh, my T-Tar, so he might go in a doggy predicting that. So I'm gonna go mind the type of little as a mid ground play. That has a fuck ton. He's what? Just gonna HP fire because it's a sun boosted. In case he decides to go in Jirachi. And it also kills his type of lily. Uh, so yeah, I didn't play that optimal. But I don't really get why his Tapu Lily switching was Tapu Lily. So I'm trapped. I can try to switch. But some people forget to put the correct ability. But yeah, he has the correct ability. So we break a potential Sash. But I assume he was Z move. Mm, I don't want to go Duggy in versus to Speed Tie. He might have Toxic or Stone Edge. Which would be definitely annoying. So I think I want to go into... F mm. yeah, I'm going to go Pharaoh instead of Rocks. Even though Manta might have been the better player there, this game's actually kind of close. Even though this guy's ass went lost, he misses the screech, which sucks. Oh god, I'm lacking these poor souls. Because if he had Z move, um, plus two Z move would have done like 90% to me. Like it doesn't Oko, but it's just like 95 or something. I've seen it do a lot to Pharaoh's on. Like this is just super fizz death Pharaoh. It's like almost max defense. So this might be some sub or some shit. And he must. <clears throat> so let me calc real quick. I think I'm just gonna stay in so he doesn't get up a substitute. Uh, for a thorn. The Zygarde power breaks the sub, so I'm just gonna spam power in, in case he has sub. And if he if he kills me, that's fine. Oh, he we miss. That's fine. I already hexed him a bit. Um, I think he's banded from that damage, and I have no good switch, and so I have to stay in here. Hmm. I don't think I can kill him with a Z ground move. If I hit that power whip, I could have killed him, so that miss sucks. But what can we do? I already locked him a bit, and my other, the other opponent too. Um, yeah, that's 55. Fuck, I kind of lose to this shit. So I think my play is going Manchine. And oh fuck, I had a Zard Y. What am I doing? Could have just gone for Zard Y and HP iced. Yeah, okay, I feel really bad now. But he doesn't want to risk it, okay? So we do get a burn, which is really lucky. Wow, that sucks. I want to go on the Zard predicting this thing, but it's too risky. I'm just gonna go Tita because his dog is already. Yeah, I didn't play this game optimal. I might end the recording after this game because I'm playing kind of sloppy. Mm, I think I'm gonna get one more. Um, I can just spam crunch here because he really doesn't have a counter play. Hopefully he doesn't para me. It doesn't nice. We do kill his zap those. 
But yeah, letting Momenta and there bring Momenta in on Zyrek was a bad play because if Momenta gets low, his opposing Zyrek could be a problem. Mm, I think I just have to sack Titaro. And I can go into Zard and click HP Ice. And if he's not banned, he, sh he should be banned from the damage that he did to my bulky Pharaoh. And if he's not banned, I'm I probably lost. He goes into his own Zard. Um, yeah, that was a good chunk because he didn't mega yet. I can just go Manta, and if he's Zard X, I'm in a fuck fucked up position. But he's Zard Y as expected. And we can just click uh, Toxic here. I think he's gonna go with Zygarde here. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I wanna double into my Zard here. Wait, how much does Eastby do the Manta? Let me clock. Eastby does a fuck ton of Manta, and if um, just 36 defense. How much does it do him to 36? It does 30, 32 to. Th oh, okay, okay. So I think I can go with Zard here. Expect him to go into his. Um, why did he stay in? What the fuck? Why did he stay in? This guy's so bad. Okay, I forgot he has like Dog Shit GXE. I should have just gone for Toxic, but I s um, his, his best play there would have probably been um, going into uh, Zygarde. But now I'm forced to heal, which sucks. This guy's bad as fuck and it puts me in a bad spot, man. If I doubled into Zyga there um, and I had my Zard in, he was forced to e-speed, I would have come back into Manta and I was out of 2-8 KO range. I do miss a Toxic, which sucks. I'm just gonna spam Skull now. I'm really mad I can lose this now. Oh man. Why are you going for Solar Beam, you dumbass? Holy shit. How can people be so bad? Like, I know I misplay and everything, but like, I don't misplay like this. Like, come on. I'm just gonna toxic again. I should have scalded, but to as long as we connect, we do get the necessary chip so we 100% dies to HP eyes and. <clears throat> if he's Scarf Jirachi, I can potentially lose to this, but I think I sent my doggy here. I go into the uh, Zard and click HP eyes, right? Why is it so close? Fuck. He goes into his own Zard, so if he pulls a double here, he can actually win. So he just makes the fire last play. I don't know what the fuck this guy is doing. I'm just gonna roost. He's playing awful, if he burns me I'm gonna kill a baby. <laughs> so I just got interrupted and was talking German real quick. Hope you guys don't mind. He goes Jirachi, if this is some T-Punch shit, oh my god, I see happy hour, oh no, I don't know. <laughs> no, I can lose to this, please burn him, please just burn him. Fuck. Fuck, I did lose to this potential. What is this? Oh, he just has Iron Head. Hopefully he just has Iron Head to hit me. Oh my god, I don't want to listen to this. This is so embarrassing. Like, I could have played this game a bit better for sure. But I just can't predict people that play like this. Fuck, don't just get the burn. Fuck, I lose. Maybe he forgot his EVs at home. Oh well, what can I do? Like. <laughs> His, his play made no sense, I don't know what, I, what I'm supposed to do. I just can't predict people like this and I did misplay a little bit, I don't remember which turn. But yeah, this was embarrassing. I'm just gonna run. <laughs> Get another one. Like, <laughs> the guy with the like worst GXE of them all, of course I lose to him. Mm, I just, I have myself to blame, there's no point in getting mad. And now I face Sorry's Trick Room team that this team is somewhat weak too, so I might go until now. Um, my rank is... I can actually show you guys. Um, I'm 21 and 2 now, which sucks. I wanted to hit 1500 and just end the video, but of course we had to get fucked up. Mm. 
we just leave with Dougie. And just sub down. Toxic this. I think this is like magic hood style from Trick Room and Memento. Nope. Oh, Memento doesn't work if I have a sub, that's cool. Just gonna off quick in case he switches. But it is sub is just amazing to store trick room turns. I don't know why you would go to Chris because I just showed you toxic, but I guess people are just retarded on this range of the ladder. I should have spent sub to um, start out the trick room. That was a bad play on my part. But yeah, people on this range are actually retarded. So I'm gonna stop predicting now because I'm gonna get so fucking mad and kill a baby. I'm sorry guys, but like, why are people so bad on the ladder? Can someone tell me? Like, what? Like, these guys are like, what? Fucking awful. Mm, I can go to T-Tower, I can go Manta. I wanna go Manta and get rid of the rocks. Like, I'm so pissed that I lost to that last dude because he's like really, really bad. So I should have just played safe the entire game and not pulled that double and not. And earlier when I was in with my Tapu Lily, I shouldn't have doubled, I should have just attacked. I don't remember what happened, but I think I switched out my Tapu Lily earlier. Oh, I left in my. Yeah, I also made some misplays that game. I, 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 that was like a way I could have won that game. Like, I should have. The turn where I stayed in with Zard Y on his. The turn where I stayed in with Zard Y on his Tapu Lily, that was an awful play on my part. I should have just gone Ferrothorn, and then I should, could have pivoted and gone in for HP Fire. So, that was, e that was the easiest win of my life. But for some reason, I decided to. That I said winning is overrated and threw that game away and the guy also played bad and got rewarded, but it's fine. Um, this Mijuna is... I have Thurry's team, I'm just gonna pause it real quick and look it up. I think it's Giga Vault Havoc for sure, I just don't remember the coverage. So yeah, this version gets walled by Ferrothorn. Thorn, if he changes the Focus Blast, it's whatever. I don't really care at this point, but it doesn't... it seems he doesn't... he didn't change it, I think, and... If I go for rocks, he can get go for rocks and I have to defog anyway, but I'll go for rocks for now because this guy seems so bad that I don't even know. Like, I'm not gonna even predict anything anymore because people are just awful. So it is more wise, I think, fire punch. It is fire fang, is what I meant to say. Mm, I wanna go hard that on the fucking mobile. How much does fire punch from Banta to the mobile? Just ban the worst mobile. Um, max HP because it's trick room. It doesn't. Oh, we don't have fire punch. Fire punch is not standard on banter. In the cog at least. Doesn't kill. So I think I go with Zard here. I should be able to live a. A fire fang plus sucker punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easily. Uh, I should have leveled a sucker punch, right? I'm just gonna flame through something. And yeah, I gotta get another one after this. I gotta at least hit the 50 hearts. That loss was like. Like, that. I know the guy. Like, I know that I didn't play well that game, and I should have. Like, I should have never lost that guy. But, like, like I said, I just have to blame myself. Like, this makes me feel like. Um, really bad because like I should never lose to someone like who is that bad like I know I'm not good at I'm not the best at this game but like some people are so bad and I shouldn't have made that play I should have calked because now he has Yuxi died the turn and he still has four trick room turns because if I roosted I could have stalled another trick room turn so that was another bad play I'm just not playing optimal it seems um I'm just go Cheetar here VSDs I'm just gonna sack my Zard after he does SD. I mean, Zard still puts in work, so maybe I should have sent my Ferrothorn, but I'm just done. I'm just done thinking. I just, I'm just mad. Yeah, so this guy made the awful play. He had, actually, never mind. I just predicted him. Never mind. But back in the Tita we go. I don't really care if he blitzes this time. He's just gonna Shadow Bone probably. For a bit, yep. We do live, so the Trick Room ends the next turn. Just gonna click Crunch here. He's gonna kill me, and no. I just go into Dougie and a substitute in case he switches. 
He doesn't have boomerang, so subbing is a fine play, and he seems to... He seems to... Um, it seems he wants to psych his Merrick, I don't know why, when you have Cresselia to switch on him to. But yeah, it's okay, we take those. Mm. Yeah, I definitely have to win another one after this. This is kind of embarrassing, holy fuck. Mm. I don't need my doggy. And he didn't even go for Aqua Jet, he predicted me to switch. So goodbye, and GG. And we are at probably 1490 or something now. We have to at least get one more. We're probably gonna get some triad now that it's gonna obliterate us. <laughs> but I'm gonna concentrate better so that I don't misplay like in the one game. That was the really, oh, fuck. That was an easy win in my opinion. But okay, so we're gonna get we're still on the range. I don't know what the fuck is going on. So I'm not that low on the ladder. Uh, 1488, 22. 22 and 2, man. Sucks to have two L so early. My first L was to Hex, I can't, like, that's fine, but the other L was like, the other loss was avoidable, which sucks. So I'm gonna check this guy's rank, and I just wanna find out, because if he, if he has a trash rank, I'm not gonna over predict, because, like, these people are just fucking insane. Um, yeah, okay, it's not a super trash rank, but, like, still trash. So I'm just gonna leave with Scarf Tubble Leather. Just gonna play it safe. It's not a timer on the fool. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to call him dead. Um, I really gotta calm myself down. Oh, by the way, let me know in the comments down below. I'm really close to 1,000 subscribers, and I might do like a road to insanity when I hit 1,000 subs, which is like me laddering for ulti like 6,000 in a row. And I know that I will misplay and I will get hacks and everything will happen in that because like six laddering in a row. <laughs> Who doesn't misplay? Um. Yeah, so I either do that as a 1000 subscriber special or like a um, shot on life with friends, with like five people. But we all do like um, a life together. We're yeah, using memes and stuff. We're gonna use memes. So if it's. Now I have to think about a play that covers all options because this guy is bad. probably not that experienced. I don't wanna say bad, I just wanna say not that experienced. That sounds nicer. Um, that why. So like if, if, you're, if I'm him. Like if he's bad, he thinks he can live a hit. He's gonna stay in. If he's scarf, he's gonna stay in because he can kill me. Um, so Zard covers those two options, and I don't know what he would switch into if he would switch. So, yeah, that's that other fuck ton. So, just gonna flamethrower. Um, I don't know if that's scarf. I think it is. He goes Ambrian, which should be able to wall me, but I'm not over predicting. <laughs> These people are wild. Wait, that didn't way too much. So it's probably Fizz death. He doesn't even have lefty, so I don't know why he would protect there. I guess it stole it um, a sun turn. But yeah. Damn, I'm still mad about that one loss. <laughs> I'm also kind of annoyed that we don't face any heat trends because I want to shot them with Ducky because I want to be scum. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go Ferrothorn. If I'm him, I would just click U-turn or double switch, but... Okay, this could have HP Fire. Mm, but if I switch out scouting for HP Fire and he U-turns, I lose momentum. Mm, but I just wanna get up my rocks, because the rocks are amazing versus the Zard and the fucking Dragonite. So, like, there was no point. Like, I could've scouted for HP Fire, but like, eh. Chances of him having HP fine was like not that high. I feel. Um, I think I'll just go Mantan. So he goes for Sacred Sword, crits me. Cause why not? And I'll just scald him. He goes traveling, and so this might have to bury that. Some sort of berry that heals him. I don't know if it's gonna be Lumberry or Citrus or whatever berry. It's not Lum. So I'm just gonna go to my Zard here. Since I get the burn, I don't have to fear anything. And I'm kinda in a mute to get another game after this because this game was complete. This didn't count at all. So I'm actually gonna get another game right the fuck now. I hope you guys don't mind because this game is actually over. I don't think I can lose that game. And we get this uh, offense team, which is annoying to play against. Um, so he's just gonna lead with his Azalf. I think I'm just gonna lead with my t and click Crunch. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna make that play. 
Just gonna get up rocks, I assume. He goes for protect. Can this guy just forfeit already? Because he can't win anyway. He sets up his rocks, dies to crunchable sand, because he's obviously Sash. Mm. If he goes Pinsa, that tells me that's probably CC. If I'm him, I could probably go into Manaphy, Excadrill, or. Oh, Mimikyu, wow. I didn't think he would go Mimikyu. So I do want to go into Ferrothon here. And just cut Jar Ball because I'm really fit to have Impish. So that's a fine spot. I can just roost here. Not sure why. Oh, he's Defog. Oh, wow. So we're gonna find through now. I don't know why you were players there. I guess I'm low on the ladder and people are bad. What would he got into here? I have to somehow double my. I have to double my Mantan in. On either his Manaphy or his Excadrill and then Defog. But I have to be really careful because if I double and he stays into SD, I'm in a bad spot. So I think Leech Sheet is my best play here. I don't want to go for rocks because I have to Defog anyway. Actually, rocks are so good and I want to force him to spin. So let's go for. Yeah, yeah, let's go for rocks. Just so he's forced to spin and on the turn that he's forced to spin, I can get the opportunity to Defog. So he sacks off his Coco. I'm just gonna HP Ice. Actually, this is probably weakness policy. I shouldn't have done that. Fuck. He's not okay, so he's probably uh, Z move. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go Teeter here on his potential supersonic sky strike, make him look like a punk. <laughs> it's later than I show. He was devastating dragon, he just all caught me. Fuck. But yeah, now I can go into my scarf, tap with Lele, and just click Moonblast. He can't E speed me because of the uh, psychic turn. Actually, psychic is my best play because it does more to Cartena and uh, Zart. And Dragonite easily dies from uh, 45. And we do get our rocks. This is probably Fire Punch. Mm. I think my best play is going hard type of Lily. I'm gonna predict the SD slash Fire Punch here. And I can just click Moonblast afterwards and pick him off. This should kill, right? Some people um, use this to qualify or like get high up on the ladder. I don't know if people actually qualify. But people got high up on the ladder, so he's actually somewhat smart. He doesn't just sack his um, Dragonite. So if he's smart, he's gonna double predicting my Mantana. He's gonna rock slide. So I'm actually not gonna go hard Mantana potential rock slide. I'm gonna go hard Ferrothon because if he rapid spins, I can just go for rocks again. And if he um, rock slides, it punishes that. So I could, I could have just gone Mantana, but it's okay. Just gonna get my rocks up because I need them. He sacks his Mantana. Um. Is that why just wins from here? I don't think. Yeah, he is. He is scarf at least. So he does some. He does have a brain. In some like somewhat have a brain at least. Um, so I just go Zard and flamethrower. Can I still lose to opposing Zard? By the way, I'm acting a bit too cocky. I shouldn't have gone a second game. <laughs> Yeah, I have to win both of these games, otherwise my, um, I'm gonna lose my motivation Motivation to like make a make a deep run and try to get high up. The guy doesn't have his own Zard. Um, if he's X and he DDs, do I lose? I think I lose, fuck. Shit. Okay, Zard Y few. I think I lost if he was that X. He does flinch me. Oh my god, what is this? He wins two speed dice in a row, but Manton just walls on his HP electric. He just goes for solo beam. I just roosted to play it safe and toxic and we have this win. We have this wrapped up. If he was that X, I would have been in a bad position. So the other guy disconnected. He can still flinch me, but he has to flinch me multiple times. I do have my toxic, so GG. So this battle brings it into the 1500s. 1505. This seems actually cool. I want to get another one because this guy is not coming back. Hope you guys don't mind the longer episode. Actually, it's not that long yet. Dude, I'm gonna get some trial and regret regret getting another game. Oh god, exactly. This is some trial shit. I don't want to play this. Chancy and Ditto? I should have quit when I had the chance to fuck. He doesn't know how to do hide room. Um, slash hide room. So, this guy has 80 GXE. 
the other guy come back? No, he didn't. So we take those. We take the points. But yeah, this guy's a better GX. So you gotta be careful. I'm gonna lead up with Doggy here. These are with Volcarona, and I can just go for Z move and kill his Volcarona turn one. I actually need I need the Z move to kill his Chansey. What am I saying? So I'll just go Manta in here. Mm, the chance is so obvious that I want to double back into my Duck Trio here. I'm actually gonna double back into my Duck Trio here. He should go Chansey. He goes Ditto. What the fuck? That was a good play actually, but I had Toxic. I mean he has Heal Bill anyway, so his play makes sense. Damn. So yeah, this, this game is gonna be hard to win 15 21. Damn, so if I lose this one, I'm gonna make this episode like super long because I have to win again then. Um. Just gonna go Ferrothorn here. I wanna go Mantan in case he Toxic, exactly. And I can just get up my rocks here. And start a timer. Okay, I gotta keep. Um, I gotta concentrate this game. Gotta keep calm mind. <laughs> so if he goes Chansey, Chansey. <laughs> I think I wanna go hard ducky. And now I can. I can screech. I, I gotta call. I gotta call. Dark Trio because if um, I kind of want to stop breaking a toxic, but I'm not sure if that's the play. Um, let's say if I screech him, that gives him minus two in defense, and I use a Z move. That has a high chance to kill, so I'm just gonna make that play. Hopefully, I connect my screech. I miss my screech. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking? I should have just stopped. I should have just gone with my god. Oh my fucking god. If I don't get the roll now, I'm in a really bad position. And we do get the roll. Thank the fucking lord. But now my Dougie is super low. But that was the main thing that I needed Dougie to do trap the Chelsea. Um, he still has Ditto to check my Zard Y though. He goes Volk. Uh, I mean Zygarde, not Volk. I'm kind of going insane. I'm gonna just go hard Ferrothorn here, because he might e speed, not wanting to take Earthquake. He just sub. Fuck! I should just spend Earthquake. Um. So now I have to power whip. This puts me in a really dangerous position as he's a fucking coil set. This set is not really common anymore. Oh fuck! I just lost. Fuck. Hit, please hit your fucking power whip. Oh man, I lose to this. What am I supposed to do? Um. I have Haze on Manzine. But if he has Toxic, I'm in a really bad position. Fuck. What is my play here? I think it's Manzine and hoping that he doesn't have Toxic and Hazing. Oh, I don't have Haze. What the fuck have I done? I thought I had Haze, but I don't have Haze. Fuck. I think I just lose. Yeah, that was embarrassing. Um, usually Manzine. Usually I always run haze on my mantan, but this team doesn't have it and I didn't I don't remember. And a crit didn't even break the sub. Oh my fucking god, what am I doing? That was so embarrassing, dude. Yeah, I just got fucking embarrassed. Like what the fuck? Like this guy's team is disgusting. This last move is e speed, he can kill my Zard. And I just lose the game, but I have to bank on that he doesn't have that. I'm pretty sure he has e speed and I just lose here. So that was embarrassing, and we will get another one. Fuck. Should have just ended the episode, but I was like, let's get one more. I'm just trying to get some more points. Can this guy not take so long? Maybe he doesn't have e-speed if he takes so long. Or maybe he's just trying to make me feel safe and then he whips out the e-speed after 50 seconds. <sighs> I'm so fucking mad.
mad. I could have played this better, but I thought I'd hate on my main side. I think my man sorry had a team that my man had haze on and I thought he passed me this, but it's obviously BTB's team, so why am I acting like this? I said, hey, fuck. Okay, can you please not take so long? I'm kind of getting annoyed by this. I'm kind of scared. He's so spadaff that I'm not even gonna use Solar Beam because I, I just, I'm not gonna risk Solar Beam because it might not kill. And if he doesn't have E speed, then, like, if he switches, that's okay. I'm just not able to over predict in front of a fucking plus to Zygarde, plus to death, plus to attack. I think his last move is toxic, because he's taking so long. So if his last move was toxic, even if I had Hazel Manta, it wouldn't have helped me that much. I should have just stayed in and set my Dagi to this, but like I, um, the reason I switched, usually I don't really see the set anymore. He doesn't have E-speed and he dies few. Maybe we have a slight chance, but I probably lose to... Mm -hmm. I have a slight chance, actually. Hmm. Wait, I just fucking realized that I lost to Volcarona because I set my duck a man and I'm so dumb. <sighs> okay, at least I have rocks. I, like, I don't lose to Volcarona automatically, automatically, but I can lose to Volcarona if I'm not careful. But yeah, he goes Manaphy for some reason. He's probably gonna rain dance. But this is a speed tie, so if I win this speed tie... If I win this speed tie, oh, he just telegos. Is he, is he... What the fuck is he doing? Is he max HP? Oh, he's mad. What the fuck? Why did he live? So he's really, 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 really bulky man of I want to save this. Hmm. I'm just going to set my Dougie here. I'm going to go fucking Pharaoh with Thorn and click Power Whip. Oh, I'm actually so mad that I said fucking. I shouldn't have said that, my bad. If he has HP fire, I can't do anything anyway. Um... If this Volk has bug balls, I lose at this point. Hopefully no freeze. And we hit few. Um, we probably can we can still lose to a lot of stuff. We can lose to... Um, yeah, I have to go hard into... Tita and hope that he doesn't have bug balls. That's my only play. Um, just looking crunch as he doesn't have... Oh fuck, I should've clicked Stone Edge. What if this doesn't kill for some reason? I should kill and ban it. He doesn't get the burn and... I think I lose to Tapu Bulu if he's Scarf. Actually, no, I don't lose. I don't lose yet. <laughs> I wanna keep this. But... If I go to Pharaoh and the SDs, he gets a kill. If I go to Zard and the... I think I'm gonna go hard Zard. Fuck, he brick break. Okay, I shouldn't. Mm. Yeah, it didn't make a difference if I switched Ferro, I would have gone bopped anyway. So I have to jar ball here. Hopefully he stays in. He doesn't stay in, he's smarter than that. I can just leech sheet spam to see what he locks himself into if he's scar. Actually, I can just jar ball once. I don't want a gyro. Why is this bright so fucked up? I don't know what to do. I'm gonna lead sheet once just to get some lefties. Fuck, this is so intense. This power whip. Okay, okay, this is fine. I'm getting health back. So. I'm gonna gyro once. If he, if he wants to switch back. As you do catch him. We do catch him. Get fucking predicted. Holy shit. How does it taste? Okay, if, if I die to this, I'm gonna regret my words. But he just gave me grass turn recovery. It's later than night show. Oh, I think he was trying to stall my jar balls, which is why he switched into this. But it's, he just actually fucked up and I win now. We do win and it's GG and we... Uh, whew. We have Fire Punch on T Tower, which means we just win. And he only has 5 PP and he kills himself with Iron Barbs. And oh my fucking god, that game was intense. And I probably choked and fat ass. But thank you guys for watching. We are 15 39. That one loss was avoidable. But I'm just happy that we won this game. And we are 15 39 with uh, 25 and 2, which is okay. And I think with more ulti coverage. Ooh, holy fuck, I'm so mad. That one game. <laughs> but I'm just happy that we could win this one. And goodbye.